When I made this pinstriped knife block for the June 2023 issue of Woodworker's Journal, I needed to plane these eight thin Wange laminations down to just one eighth inch thick. And to do it, I had to use a special planing technique, but it's simple. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now you probably already know that when you're surface planing lumber thinner than about, oh, three eighths of an inch thick, it's not safe to run the lumber through the planer by itself anymore. That's because the thinner it gets, the more flexible it becomes and the more likely it is to distort. So why is that a problem? Well, imagine that this is the front feed roller of the planer. As thin lumber passes underneath the feed roller and gets pressed down, the front end of the board can actually start to bow upward. And if that happens, the spinning cutter head could catch the front of the board and shatter it. And that's not something you want to have happen. So what's the solution? Well, for this knife block, all I needed to tackle this thin planing job was a flat piece of three quarter inch scrap board. I'm using a melamine shelf board here and some double sided tape. This melamine is gonna serve as a carrier board for the wenge. It's gonna provide the stiffness that the thin wenge won't have anymore, and it's also gonna provide the extra length needed to plane these short pieces safely. My first task was to resaw my seven wenge blanks to rough thickness from four quarter stock. Each of these pieces turned out to be about seven sixteenths of an inch thick. I would have resawn them even thinner, but a couple of test cuts revealed that the wenge was prone to bowing when resawn thin, and I wanted them as flat as possible for planing. Wenge is an expensive exotic, so I didn't buy a lot of extra for my project. So I've got four pieces of it resawn here. These four pieces are walnut to serve as props for this video, and I also resawed another piece of scrap to serve as two sacrificial surfaces, and you'll see why shortly. My next step was to secure the wenge pieces to the carrier board with double-sided tape. Here, I made sure that the flat, jointed faces of these work pieces were down against the melamine, and the rough bandsaw faces were facing up. I also taped one of the sacrificial pieces in front of the wenge, and the other one at the back end of the carrier board behind the wenge. We're just about ready to plane, but there's still one more detail we need to know, and that is the combined thickness of the carrier board and the work pieces on top of it. And in this case, it's an inch and three sixteenths. Seven sixteenths of an inch of thickness for the wenge, and three quarters of an inch of thickness for the melamine board. With that thickness determined, I could set my first planing pass for just slightly less than an inch and three sixteenths. Then I fed the whole carrier board into the planer just as if it was one piece of solid wood. From there, I made several more passes, taking off about a 32nd of an inch of material each time until everything on top of the carrier board was an eighth of an inch thick. Now you might be wondering why the sacrificial pieces on either end. Well, my planer leaves a little bit of snipe about two inches in from the ends of boards, and maybe your planer does too. It's that little dished out area where the cutter head cuts a little bit more deeply. Well, these sacrificial pieces are where that snipe can happen without impacting the wenge at all. And considering how thin the wenge is at this point, I didn't want any snipe happening here or here. At this point, I could carefully pry the wenge up off the tape and clean off any tape residue with a little denatured alcohol. Then they were ready for glue up on the knife block. Now, you don't have to use melamine for a carrier board. Any scrap piece of flat, solid wood, or sheet stock will work for this purpose. I like melamine because it's smooth, slippery surfaces easy to clean tape residue off of, so I can reuse it again and again for this purpose. I hope this technique helps you plane thin lumber more safely and easily too. And you can put it to good use if you build our pinstriped knife block in the June 2023 issue. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Thanks for watching.